Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. Today I'm checking out something absolutely crazy, the GTA 5 Extreme Light Edition, a build that shrinks the entire game down to just 15 gigabytes. This lighter version removes the huge HD textures, heavy cutscenes, and bulky language packs, but still keeps the open world, vehicles, etc. What's shocking is how well it actually performs, even on low-end smartphones. So in today's video, I'll show you what's included, what's removed, how it runs, and whether this 15GB GTA 5 build is actually worth playing. Let's get into it. First, open WinLater Ladashi version 2.7.2 and allow the storage permission. WinLater will start installing its system files. Once that finishes, make sure to also allow the external storage permission manually. Now open the hamburger menu, go to settings, and set the box 64 preset to performance. Also change FEX core to performance. Scroll down and set the cursor scale to 200%, then tap the checkmark to apply your changes. Tap the plus, plus symbol, icon to create a new container. Give it any name you want. For screen size, choose 960 by 544 or 1280 by 720 for better compatibility. Under graphics driver. If you're using a MediaTek device select system. If you're on Adreno choose Turnip. Leave DX wrapper on default. But if your game doesn't boot, switch the DX wrapper version to 1.1.3. Scroll down and enable show FPS and full screen. Now go to the advanced tab. Set box 64 version to 3.0.7. Keep box 64 preset on performance. Set startup selection to aggressive. Tap the check mark to finish creating the container. Press play to run the container. After it boots up, go to the D drive. Open your GTA 5 folder. Go into GTA underscore data and tap play GTA. The first launch can take a few minutes and may crash once or twice. This is normal. I've also created a desktop shortcut and configured the controls for easier access. If the game screen looks zoomed in or goes out of the screen area, change your container resolution to 1280 by 720. This fully fixes the issue. At first, GTA 5 will not launch in full screen. To enable full screen manually, open the menu settings graphics. Set DirectX version to DX10. Change screen type to full screen. Adjust resolution as you prefer. Turn VSIC off. Apply the changes and restart the game. It will now launch in proper full screen. What's included in the 15GB Extreme Light build? This lightweight build is based on GTA 5 version 1.29. To bring the size down to just 15GB compressed and 15GB uncompressed, several things have been removed. Textures are heavily compressed and lower quality. No self-radio. No director mode. No mission audio or radio stations. No missions at all, free roam only. But the open world works perfectly and runs extremely smooth even on very low-end hardware. If you simply want to explore Los Santos freely on a low-end mobile device, this is easily the most optimized version available. So that's the full setup and gameplay overview. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more guides like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.